Hello again, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. A little while back, I reviewed a product from this company, Renew Protect, called Black on plastic trim, and it performed rather well. So I thought I would try the RP11 here. This is the SiO2 Ceramic Dry Wash, or Quick Detailer. This can be used to clean. I wouldn't use this on an extremely soiled or dirty or gritty car. Something very lightly soiled or just dusty. Something to use in between washes. Spray it right onto the panel or you can spray it into your microfiber. Massage it in, clean it up. If it's something a little bit more than dusty, you're going to have to use the wash, uh, rinseless wash, waterless wash technique while you're lifting the towel as you go to pick up the dirt. Get, get the grit away from the panel. But... Uh, on a vehicle like this, just a little bit dusty, this Ram here, uh, I'll bring you in and show you uh, the first person view. It's easy to use. You can get around the car rather quickly. No high spots or streaks on this dark color. I tried it on black and it was perfectly fine. So I wanted to test it a little bit further. We're going to do that today in this video. What's important to me, guys, with this type of a product is does it have lubrication while you're working the product, lifting the dirt? It seems to have some proper lubrication. It seems to be easy to use. It gives a nice boost of gloss. We're going to test that on the test panel a little bit later. It does advertise to last four months when it comes to durability of protection. For a dry wash, that may be pushing it, maybe two to three months, but we'll see. You could use it on cars, RVs, boats, motorcycles, golf carts, tinted glass, acrylic, patio furniture, on and on. Uh, you can use it on plastic trim, chrome, aluminum, just about every surface on your vehicle. So let me get around the car quickly. We'll get it applied. We'll see what it looks like. Don't forget your wheels seems to be effective on all types of wheel surfaces. Headlights, taillights, chrome, chrome-plated plastic trim, mirrors, glass. It seems to have done a decent job. We have a nice glossy reflective surface it was easy to use there was plenty of lubrication there looking it up you can get 16 ounces for 24.99 seems a little on the high side um, i've used the adams ceramic waterless wash and enjoyed that you get something similar in size for 14 or 15 dollars so it's something to compare the price to but this does lay down um, a nice layer of gloss did clean the truck. Looks good. Let's get some numbers behind what we're seeing here. As you can see, not the highest numbers uh, we've recorded uh, here on the channel, but not bad either. Okay, well, let's dive into this a little bit further and jump over to the test panel. I drug this inside. It's very dirty. It's been sitting out for quite some time, so we're going to have to prepare it. Uh, preparing for a test is one of the most important things along with cure time. When you're waiting for the product to cure up and set up properly so you can test it and get some accurate results. So let's get to cleaning the panel. We'll do a waterless wash. We'll do a little bit of polishing. Uh, I won't lay down protection on any substrate without at least a one-step or a quick cleaner polish.
And we'll hit it with a uh, panel prep and make sure there's no residue before we do apply the products. Let's get some before readings when it comes to gloss. This is a nice squeaky clean bare part of the test panel here and it comes out to 80.0 GU. Let's get it applied. We're going to do two coats of the Renew Protect RP11. You can spray again right onto the panel or into a microfiber applicator if you want to. Okay, so we're going to let that go for at least 24 hours, maybe even more until I get back to the panel. It's already making a difference in the little area that we have taped off here, so we'll let it go. Okay, we're back. It's been almost four days till I got back to this test panel here. Let's do some gloss meter readings. I actually had to wipe off the panel again. It got dusty from sitting here. A lot of correction dust landing on it, but it's cleaned. And as you can see, a nice jump. Not the highest numbers on the channel, but anytime you have a jump of 9, 10, 11 gloss units just from applying the product, you got a winner. Okay, I could definitely feel slickness in the test area, so let's put our blocks down and test that as well. Slickness check, gloss check, ease of use check, no streaking, cleans fine, that's a check. As we come outside, I like to see in you know direct sunlight if it does it make the panel look a little bit darker and richer. I can barely see the outline, so that isn't quite as impressive as some products. How about beading? That's not bad. You can tell where the protection is, the beading, um, some very nice tension on the panel on the test area. So let's do our 10 wash test. Let's get this started with round one. I have had some uh, products that fail within the second, third wash. I've had some make it through all 10 plus the next, next segment of testing with our road film test that we have. Uh, so let's see how far we can get with this product. So as we get into the third and fourth wash, we don't even have to worry about the contact angle of beating because there is no beating. It's, it's sheeting now, and it's sheeting pretty fast. There is protection there. That doesn't mean the protection is gone. It just means the hydrophobic properties within the formula have weakened to a point where it's just sheeting, and that's where we are right now. So what we have left behind, the protection, it might be able to help with some environmental issues that could splash up on your car, but for the most part, uh, price Durability can be improved with this. Everything else works fine and just as advertised, so that I can pass along to you guys. If you're enjoying the content, guys, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell like Paul Boyd here, my good friend from New Jersey that stopped by to get his car done. Uh, very nice to see you.